Okay, our goal is to get data from the US Census Bureau, run it through a spreadsheet, and then get it into Desmos. So let me show you how this works. If I go to the Census Bureau's data, there's a bunch of great things I could look at here. I'm interested in tables, and what will happen is I'll get a table of all the countries here um, that are listed out with their populations and the years 2023, but for this, we actually want to get populations over time. And we're actually not interested in countries and areas because we're looking at the whole world. So I uncheck that box, go to all countries, click world. Okay. All right. So there's my world population. But I actually also here for the years, I want to uncheck this. I want to get a range of years and then click OK. Now, right now, I believe it should actually be loading from that, but I thought the easiest way to actually get it to work was to go up here and just kind of refresh it. Then I get the loading message down here, and it usually takes about a minute or two, so I'm going to hang out while it does that. Okay, so that took me about a minute, and you could always reach out if you're having a hard time getting to this step right here, but once you've got it, you want to now download it. Okay, I want to download it as an Excel file. And now I'm going to open a spreadsheet. I can just type in sheets.new. It'll load. I go to file. And now I'm going to get that data. I'm going to go to open and upload over here. Go to browse. And there's my file. If you notice here, I have a couple of copies. Look how large this file size is, 21 megabytes, right? That's too big. In this case, it's only 171 kilobytes, and that's because I unchecked that one box. I don't need all the different countries, just the world data. So now that's going to load. I've got my spreadsheet. And there's a lot of ways to filter this, but what I'm trying to do is only get these numbers here and their corresponding dates. I thought the easiest way to do that was just click on, I chose column A, and apply a filter. That's this button over here. There's my filter. Click on it and tell it what to filter out. And if I look at my list right here, I really only want the rows to say the word world because that is where the population is. So I'm gonna clear off all these values here. I could just type in world or scroll to the bottom. I only wanna show the rows with the word world in it. And there we are. Now I want these two columns right here. Okay, and then I just, copy them, go to add sheet, and paste them. Now, um, Desmos, as last time I checked, does not like commas, so I'm going to click on this column, go to format, number, turn it to plain text, and then go back to automatic, and I've got rid of my columns. And also over here, I want to maybe measure years from 1950. So do um, the year I'm given. In this case, that's column A, row two. So just type in A2. No, notice I typed an equal sign here to start a formula. And subtract 1950, the number 1950. I want to measure whatever year I'm given. I want to measure what that is from 1950. So it starts off at zero, and then if I select the cell and scroll to this blue dot and drag it down, you can see, for example, five is because we'll get 1955, which is five years after 1950. We got it. Now these numbers here, you could graph them directly, just like you could uh, direct, graph these directly as well, but I think it looks a lot neater. If we just type in equals, and then take the given number and divide it by a billion, which is 10 to the ninth. All right, so we're actually measuring population then in numbers of billions. And again, just click and drag that down. Now here, what I did next, you can select all of these, but you don't even need to, just the, sorry, the last two will suffice. You click on that blue dot and drag away until we get to, I think it's about 2060, there it is, let go. There's all of our data. Now I wanna take this data and get it right into Desmos. And you don't, all you have to do is copy it, and then let's go over here and open Desmos, okay? Desmos, okay. And all you have to do is actually paste it. I'm sure if you have a hard time, I just hit Command V there or Control V, you could go to plus and then add a table and do it that way. But here is all of the data from that spreadsheet, and now I'm ready to analyze it. All right, hope that helps.